face. We're going to cut around the face, but using Pixlr. So there's the image. We're going to go to Pixlr Editor. Um, we're going to open up the image from the computer. Here's the image. This isn't a particularly easy image to use because there's a lot of dark stuff that I won't be able to see necessarily because um, it's brown, just like my hair is brown. Um, so when I'm deleting it, I have to be careful. Okay, we're going to double click on this lock right here. That'll create the, make the background transparent. We're going to use the lasso tool around the edge. Woo, got close to the head there. That selected that. I think I'm fine where it got close to my head. I'm going to click Edit, Invert Selection. That's going to select everything that I didn't originally select. Um, and I'm going to cut. There's what I'm left with. Let's zoom in to see how, how everything looks. That's pretty good. So I'm going to crop the image down. What most of you are sending me is the entire image. See everything with uh, transparent? You're sending me all of that plus this little stuff up there, which I would have to crop myself, and I shouldn't have to do that. You guys can do this. I'm just going to crop the image down to there. I'm going to click once. It says, you want to apply these changes? Yes. That's the total size of my image right now. So I'm zooming in using the slider bar. I'm going to use the eraser tool. I'm going to set it at 50 for now. And go around the edge. Ah, i got to keep my hair. Okay, so I'm going to click Undo. Now, I'm not liking this 50, size 50. I'm going to go down to 25. This will do. Now, I'm going to make sure I let go of the mouse button every once in a while so that if I make a mistake, when I click Undo, I can see... go back. When I click undo, I can go back, but not all the way back to the beginning. Oh, see, I don't like that. So undo. So I'm really going to get rid of this. Now you ask, why are we even learning to do this? Well, you guys are going to need to use Pixlr or some image editing program, and this is a good opening activity for you. You're going to need to use that when creating pieces for your zine contribution, your weekly zine contribution. I'm having some trouble here around the ear. Okay, I don't like what that did. Okay, I have got to be. Okay, now I'm going to let go of the mouse then. There we go. So I keep getting rid of that spot by the Okay, makes my head look a little flat on the side, but no big deal. All right, you're going to notice that there's still some extra, and I'm expecting you to get rid of all of that. Just leave your face. No background, no blue here. Now, if you're using a laptop, it's kind of difficult to do this. So you might want to do this in school, on a desktop computer, or plug a mouse that's compatible with your computer into your computer. All right, so now I've got an image. Let's see what happens if I put it on a background. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, this is, the I think, the, the least difficult way to do this. Okay, so I'm going to create a new image. I'm going to go flood fill, and I'm going to fill it with black, which is colored on here. So there's that image, and here's this image. This image is transparent. This image has black. So I'm going to paste this image on top of that one. So I'm going to select this picture. Click copy. I'm going to select the other image. Now I'm working with this one. And paste. Now you look you see that there's stuff I still need to get rid of around this ear, around there, maybe down at the bottom. So now I can keep that image open. Over to here, actually, edit, deselect all. All right. So right here by the beard needs some work. It's harder to know where your extra is when you have that, when you have hair there.
go. That gets rid of that. I got some light colored stuff there. I think it looks good other than that. Okay, so here's the image. I'm going to resize the image down to 150 pixels, which it actually already is. So you need to go image, image size, and the width needs to be no more than 150 pixels. So that's that's fine right there. We're going to click Save. The file type is going to be PNG because it's transparent, full quality. It's 58 kilobytes, which I actually am not too happy with. Let's see what I can do to make this smaller. Okay, there's the that. Apply these changes. Yes. Image size. 134 pixels. Okay. Save PNG 57 kilobytes. Alright, it'll do. Save. Go back on the desktop. Here's the image. That's pretty good. There's a little bit of white down at the bottom there I guess I could have gotten rid of, and a little bit right there that I could have gotten rid of. But other than that, it's pretty good. Keep it around 50 kilobytes, not 75. Under 50 is great. The smaller the file, the better. And that's it. Email it to me. Thank you.